common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? It's Tom Dizu here. Uh, it's Friday. Uh, 30 minutes before close um, today I just want to make a video that is um, you know a little bit differently from the previous week because uh, I've seen a lot of you know good examples uh, for me to go over this topic uh, and so I just want to you know to kind of explain it to you guys a little bit in details uh, what are those right so uh, Today, this topic is going to be the easiest, you know, short. By just doing so, you're going to, yeah, you know, you're going to avoid a lot of uh, paper cuts and then uh, uh, drawdowns uh, based on that. And, you know, based on my, again, my experience in the past that every time I try to short the front side, every time I try to guess the top, like uh, this one. Uh, you know, I try to catch the top this one and also another this one that one, you know It's just like basically I think this is the top right let me short some here I gotta stop out here and it gets to this point I mean, you know guessing here and down up here and, and you know all the way. Yeah, so l long story short uh, As a short seller, I want to avoid you know all those right. I want to focus on a stress-free kind of trade like where the optimal uh point is there right i mean uh, for trading uh, timing is really key timing is everything in this game okay either you long or short uh you want to long the dip and you want to shorten the resistance right uh and that's uh basic uh, the concept of support and, and resistance kind of uh, trade but the key uh the key point i'm trying to make on this video is the back side okay that's why i call it you know you, you could call it whatever and you know simplest short or easiest short for me this is the stress-free kind of short and it's more like you know the odds in my f in my favor it's really high and the risk reward is just so good okay but first of all you have to the like you have to determine the meat on the bone right for for any type of trade you know uh, for short or long uh, you need to see like you know especially as a short seller you need to see you need to know uh, how much meat is left down there right so by looking at this you can see the stock the line is saying was like one 1.2 right so this is I mean this is kind of you know if it if it uh, you know was up to me this is would be like the best case scenario the stock could tank to this line okay to this area so that's you know would be my best target but we know that in trading uh we never gonna you know be able to kind of top ticket and and bot bottom take it yeah right and it's it's uh, never gonna be perfect so just don't worry about uh you know uh about that and focus more on the process and the setup itself so by looking at this okay so one and to like 1.3 those are kind of the best case scenario that stock could go down there and by the time when you look at that and the stock is at 3.8 3.7 so technically if I'm really conservative here I could get at least to like let's say two okay it's like 60 cents or like yeah, you know 1.8 here still 50 cents above like the best case scenario kind of the target right and if you look at that 1.8 to 3.8 that's two dollars you know two points right there on like you know three or four four dollar stocks that's pretty good risk reward to me okay even if you like let's say you short here 3.5 and you're risking over four I mean your risk is pretty wide already right 50 cents on that three or four dollar stock that's pretty good you know range to me and and uh 
by looking at those, you know, the bigger picture, now you got the bigger picture. Uh, now I see that, okay, so the stock has room to come down, okay, because like you have to be patient, right? You have to, um, you have to be waiting for those, uh, you know, to kind of go into parabolic move like this instead of you try to shorten it yesterday. Uh, the best case scenario you could get is like, you know, 50 cents or something like that on like a one or two dollar stock. But on this one, we'll, we let it run in after hours and today in, in, in the pre-market. And this is, this is the key point that I'm trying to make here. Okay, so you look at the big picture. Uh, the stock is pretty extended from one to four. Okay, enough meat down there for you to short. Okay, that's the first case. You know, the the second part you need to look at is if there's any baggies on the daily. Okay, and in this case you don't have any, right? Uh, but if you have like someone like you know at five or six or you know with good volume, that's that's another plus. Okay, the 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 third one is dilution. Uh, I couldn't see any dilution on this um, particular stock. I think, but but I saw you know stock it was pretty heavy yesterday and 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 and, and today as well. But uh, just keeping uh, just keeping it really simple here, you know the lines. You know all I'm trading is based off my lines, and that's all I'm doing daily. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line, and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. I don't need to be, you know... Uh, really smart about it. I, I don't have like I don't need to have a PhD or doctor degree to figure it out. Okay, uh, you know to have to draw lines. So we've been teaching you guys uh, in MIC over this and this and you know for for the past uh, years already. So um, just want to keep it simple. Uh, stock has enough meat on the bone, and all and also small cap. Uh, you know crappy companies. They're not big companies like Tesla, Amazon. Or eBay or something like that. They're not real companies, right? Uh, so they tend to not squeeze you uh, like uh, you know the bigger kind of float company. So that's uh, it's been on my checklist. So if everything's lined up, okay. Now I need to draw my line. And what I'm seeing here, this is it's really simple, okay. I see this as a support. This is support. Resistance becomes support. Resistance becomes support. Resistance becomes support. Okay, when you can accumulate those, you know, the more data you have, the more powerful the line will be. Okay, as you can see, you can see resistance here becomes support. Resistance here becomes support. Resistance here becomes support. Support here, support here, right? And see, you see how powerful the line is, and. You have one, four, uh, one, two, three, four, five kind of major points here to point at right at this line. Okay, why not this line? Why not this line? This line and this line, right? No, because I want to see the more data that I have on that on that particular line, the more powerful the line will be. Okay, so I could tell that. 3.10 or 3 line is really the major kind of support because because you know it went up there you know touch there down touch there down again and then touch it when it breaks uh, you know it broke this 3 line and dips right back here and pops back and then dips right back here at the open okay so by looking at that uh, by looking at those data I know that this is the major line the major key support once this crack, likely the backside is in. And that's all I needed to know. You know, as for a short seller. I don't have to guess around. I don't have to short into. I mean, you could be, you know, a little bit early. You want to short in first resistance. Uh, uh, let's say you want to start here risking over this. 
starter here risking over that you know starter here risking over this i mean yes you can do that but what i mean by that is if you do that so uh you're never going to be able to uh be able to size in on those right i mean i guarantee you the best case you know scenario you could get is 30 percent on the front side and that's something that uh you know uh, and if you don't know how to add back to winners, uh, you know, your account is not growing because of the scalps, you know, based on, uh, you know, resistance support. Unless you know exactly what you're doing, like Alex and Bao, uh, they've been able to just kind of size up on those and add back to winner down here and then cover, you know, down here. But let's just say that you are the brand new trader. And let's say you don't have that much, you know, of experience. Uh, you you and you don't want to scale, right? You you want us to look at the pattern that I show. You know, I'm 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 not even saying that you know it's hundred percent, but this is the high probability kind of trait for you to kind of look at, and you don't have to guess, right? You don't have to even anticipate. You just wait for that confirmation, and then you get in. You know if it doesn't confirm you know you don't have to trade and also this will save your mental capital and you know also saving your capital as well and but you just have to be patient on those okay and by looking at this this is the key line right i know that if this line cracks likely it's gonna go lower okay and i know for a fact that this stock has enough meat on the bone for me to even chase it at, at this point. A lot of people asking me, how do you differentiate or how, how can you differ, you know, when to trade, when to slam and when to show back the balance, right? And a lot of people say, uh, saying that, you know, Tom, you know, I, I shorted down here. I feel like I'm chasing. Okay. But you haven't looked at the big picture yet. So yeah, guys, so that's it for me today. I hope this uh, video is not too long, but I hope, you know, I can explain everything uh, that was, uh, you know, easy to understand for you guys, uh, you know, especially for those new uh, that they still don't know or they still haven't, you know, completely understand about uh, the backside kind of trading. And this is the powerful of the backside shorting, right? The easy short. It's really stress-free. You don't have to guess. Okay, you just need that confirmation for you to kind of get in. And also the risk reward is pretty good. And um, so if you can look at more at those in the future, uh, you know, if you see, you see those, uh, make sure you are ready to take advantage of those because, uh, you know, uh, this uh, this is really powerful. Uh, like this is a really powerful setup uh, how to grow uh, your account. Okay, guys, so if you you know have any questions uh you know dm me anytime and in the meantime you know have a great weekend everyone and uh, i see you guys next time take care thank you so much for watching our video if you want to see more of our videos please subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking the button here we do our best to post a new video every single day if you have any questions about mic or any general trading questions please text tosh using the number here also stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here